All right, what's up, folks? <clears throat> so as you can see here, I got the Baja Designs Squadron Pros. <clears throat> this is the driving combo. Uh, you guys can see. So I also have the low profile brackets. Um, I didn't want to go with the big one, so I want to go low profile. Um, I haven't seen much videos on it or pictures on these, so hopefully they look good. So let's get going. I'm gonna do the install for this. Hopefully this helps out other people. Alright, All right, so this is what you get. <clears throat> these are the driving combo. So right here. Light and harness. There's some uh, directions and extra stuff. Got a sticker. So this. So the harnesses. All right. Let's all mount these lights up. Let's go. All right. So this is all the mounting hardware that you get. All right. This is what it tells you. Um, Everything that comes with the kit. There's also some directions here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mount it off camera, pretty much following this direction, and then we'll start again. All right, so I wanted to clarify. Look at the directions here, right? So you guys, if you guys can see, it shows this these um, uh, serrated washers. It looks like it's on the inside of it, or it goes within, but it's actually goes in between. bracket and the wash and then the screw if you guys can see here I was doing it out I didn't know what the hell was going wrong because I was putting it on the side and kept falling out so I thought it was um, according to the picture I thought it was gonna be put inside here but it wasn't working so if you look here it's off this is the incorrect way of doing it this is the correct way how to put the washers just want to clarify just in case you guys are going crazy. <laughs> this is what it is. All right, so this is actually what I did first. I just mounted onto the bracket. It's still loose, so I, I could have room to play with it. Um, and I'll do the final adjustments later and tighten everything up um, just so that I can throw it on the hood, um, on the hood bracket over here. So I already have everything loosened up already. I'm gonna do one one at a time so I don't have to mess with, the whole, with everything. So let's get that going. So now, <laughs> You want your paint line to match up. So pretty much you just have to lift up the hood. Like so. Let's see the left hand. Alright. Lift it up and just tighten it up. Alright, I'll go back around and tighten it in a bit. But this is what I was talking about. So like, Space you got to play with is fairly tight. Well, these are the low profiles, uh, so it's fairly tight. But I'll go back and tighten everything up as soon as I get everything adjusted. If I want to turn it or however, so I'll play with that afterwards. All right, left side. All right, so so far I got the lights mounted. Um, I'm gonna put this guy on the side here. Same thing with the other side. So I'm gonna route it underneath uh, the cow, um, just in case you guys want to see. So it looks like so far. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up the wires, the harnesses, and then I'm going to zip tie them along with the main harness over here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a drill bit. <clears throat> As you guys can see, go to the firewall, uh, poke a little hole with a small drill bit or whatever you guys have, and then go inside and do the wire. Um, these are what I have. So I got some zip ties. I like screw tape, you don't really need it, but you might. Um, <clears throat> got a wire cutter set. Um, got some of these guys, 2216 is what I'm using. Got some tubing just in case. And then also got my Cali Rays pitch blade. Rago, I got, bought my life from Rago, but they didn't have it, so I got some Cali Rays for I think 15 bucks or something like that. <clears throat> um, I've been doing some lighting uh, research about the wiring and stuff, so um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wire it myself and you guys can see how it goes. Alright. And then this is the <coughs> original harnesses that it comes with. Same thing with this. And then the drill bit that I'm gonna use to poke a hole. All right, so this is the piece you get from Rego. Um, this is gonna be the driver's side. So I'm gonna swap it this way. 
right so this one goes over here these two want to hook up over there and then one will eventually hook up to this other one right here and this is this one is going to go inside uh, i'm gonna get rid of the switch here as well so i got to cut this up so Once again, this is it. I'm just gonna push it all the way back to there. So there is a little nuts here you can pop out, but I mean I was able to get through without having to do none of that. So now I'm gonna stick it into here and wire across and drag it across over there. <clears throat> so just in case if you're wondering, uh, this is what it looks like. So it's only a one-way plug. Right. This one will hook up here. Uh, there we go. This guy is going to hook the harness right there. So I'll slide it in. Once again, you can pop these out if you like. I'm just going to squeeze it through over there and then I'll zip tie and clean all this up afterwards. I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm just gonna clean up everything and then we'll continue. So this is the wiring. It's pretty long. I'm gonna cut this off and put the dish light on the switch on there. I'll show you guys that in a bit. Here's the fuse, here's the power. So pretty much I'll show you guys what it has so far. So they tucked uh, the harness in and they're pretty good. They tied it right here. And then you guys remember it, uh, this it splits, so it would have came out this way. But I didn't want that, so I just put it all together. So this is where the harness is gonna plug up to. So zip tie there, there, there. Um, same process. Tucked it in. Zip tie right here. Right here. All right. As I drag it through this hole earlier, zip tie there. No one there. I want to put one in the middle, but my hands are too big. I can't get in there. So it's kind of a pain. If I I'll probably try to play with it later. But yeah, just to make it look cleaner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag. Uh, Cause I wanna make this kind of clean. So I'm gonna plug behind everything, and then pretty much eventually hook up over there. So um, I'll do that off camera, just so it's easier. All right, so that was harder than I thought. Um, for some reason, my prongs were a little off, um, so I just pretty much kind of wiggled around with it to make it work. Um, but it's, it should be straight up plug and play. All right, first things first, I just want to make sure that this actually works. Because uh, like I said, my prong was a little bent. Uh, so I hooked it up. As you can see, the wire's back over there. Here's my switch. There's my light. Ooh. Let's try it again. Ooh. And they work. All right, so that's successful. That's it. All right, so pretty much what I did now was uh, just tape this up here for now, just to clean it up. There's more room, put my wires here for now. And once again, we did, I did test and it was working. So now the magic happens. I'm scared. Bam. I don't need no more. Then what I'm gonna do is zip tie this together so I can beat this with the firewall. I mean not zip tie, tape together, I mean. Sneak it through in the back. <clears throat> So it's through. Back everything over again. Here it is. I use a plier to pull it. I use my knife to cut it. I just pulled it and cut it. And this is what it is. I cut off the lower piece for the zip tie. 
just gonna tape it in. Or I might just stick it in and then so that there's no big bulging parts that get stuck anywhere. Alrighty. Alright, so I pretty much stuck it in. So it looks like now, so it's inside the wire. This little big bulging thing here, this is just like the housing. Uh, this is the wires right here, it's a zip tie. So let's do this again. Hopefully this works this time. Um, all right, so it's in, gotta go pull it out. All right, so the most painful part of this is getting it through the firewall, getting it here. So pretty much what I've been doing was going outside. Uh, two people will be nice. Pretty much just pushing it in from the inside. I hope you guys can see, but my wire's right here. It's right here. Um, it's getting close. I'm getting there. Oh, then I'm gonna pull the firewall out as well. Shit. But yeah, that's the that's the game plan. Yep, it's getting there. All right, God damn, that took longer than I freaking thought. <laughs> Why I went through. So let me just tell you guys what I did. So like I said, there's that little nipple that I had. Where's it at? This piece originally. I cut it off. But then this was also in this was inside the car. So I was pulling and plugging, pulling and plugging, couldn't get it to work. So I was like, you know what? F it. I'm just gonna go a different route. I pulled out my harness. This piece came back out sticking like this. So it's kinda like a little hernia, you can say. If you guys know what hernia is. Um, so I cut it off and now there's like a clear hole. So I just stuck it back in and it's perfect. So you can go this route, it'll take you a while. If I had some WD-40, it'll probably be, would have been better, but I forgot what I put my WD-40 in. Um, yeah, so once again, like I said, the same exact hole the nipple was at. You guys can see, but the wire's going through. I'm feeding it through right now. <clears throat> and I pop this out again. All right, so I'm gonna feed it through up here. All right, so I got to what I wanted to do. Uh, pretty much if you look here, I dragged the wire behind everything. It's, let's see. It's right here. So I, I dragged it behind all those other wires. So it's much cleaner. Uh, so it came through here. You guys can see. Here's my wire. I dragged it behind this big bunch of wires over here. Underneath all these fuses and stuff. Uh, so it's pretty much like on this, on to the side. I won't have any issues of like accidentally stepping on it or something like that. Um, but that's just a personal preference, how you want to line up your wires. So, um, I'm going to finish that up and then get going with the wire and I'll show you guys if this is successful or not. I have all this wire. I think this is more than enough that I'm going to play with, but I still have excess. So as you guys can see, but I might just zip tie this all together. I don't want to pull it all in or leave it, you know, with this other bundle. Um, <clears throat> I'm a noob to this, uh, so I'm not really good at splicing and dicing, you know, so I might just, I'm just gonna zip tie it. But Rigger does give you a bunch of other stuff that you can, if you wanna splice and dice, feel free, which I'm not gonna do, because I don't know how to do it. But pretty much now, I'm just gonna cut this off. This is what I was using to uh, um, wire it through earlier. So that's trash. Um, I didn't get a wiring diagram, which some people say they did, that they, they should provide, but I didn't get one. So I was just kind of Googling stuff up. So I have an idea what I'm gonna do. I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna cut this off. Right about so. All right, so <clears throat> from what I know, from uh, the research stuff I've been doing, right? So there's only three that you get from Rego, and you get four OEM dish lights. So this is the button right here ditch button this is the four so from what i know is black is black right black is ground green is live so green goes to this one by itself right here and ground is ground right so this one with that's equipped with the red i'm sorry that the red with the black that's your light right correct me if i'm wrong but that's what i'm that's what i believe uh, is correct so um, if you want to uh, is it, uh, have this shade you know, shining at night when you're tying your dashboards or whatever, that'll be this guy closest to the black. But I'm not going to do that because, I don't know, what I've kind of read was that it's pretty bright and I don't want that. So I'm just going to have it illuminate when um, I press the button. So I know some people don't use this one at all, but according to, because I got this from Cali Raised, 
they combine the two reds together. So how I'm gonna do this is green to this one, two reds to this red, and then black to black. So that's how my setup is gonna be. Uh, like I said, there's multiple ways. I know there's another guy who, um, what is it, uh, hitched this to another one, another one of these other fuses. I don't know which one it was. He uses something like adder fuse or something like that, I believe. Um, then you can, you know, this will, this will uh, light up uh, when you turn on your lights and stuff, which I don't know, blue at night doesn't seem to catch my eye in my opinion. So that's what we're gonna do. Alrighty, so let's get going. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip these guys. I'm using the 16. All right, this is what I got so far. All right, so now this is what it looks like, right? So everything's nice and good. I'm using one of these ones. This is why I just bought. I just bought these over at uh, Home Depot. For like I don't know. I forgot how much it was, like five bucks or something like that, or six dollars or something. This is what I saw on Kelly Ray's, the, the guy trimmed him down. All right, well, I guess I'll trim these ones down too. It's gonna kind of like twist them in here. Like so, and crimp it. Like so. So the light, this goes here. Like so, and crimp it. like so all right and then repeat the process the two reds right I'm gonna go with two reds so I'm gonna trim this one since it's a little higher turn them both to be the same size then I'm gonna twist them together put them two together crimp them should fit all right so I just hooked it up to the battery real quick just to want to make sure it's working so as you guys can see my battery is working fingers crossed guys whoops oh that's working. Ooh, snaps. Ooh, snaps. Uh, and it works. I'm super excited. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm super excited. We just got to clean this up. So uh, that's the wiring schematics that I did. Uh, I'm going to go back and clean this up. And then, oh yeah, make do review on this little test review. I'm super excited. All right, guys. I'll show you guys what's done when the product is done. All right, so now, since everything works, uh, I'm just going to clean things up. Um, totally optional, but I'm going to use a wiring to make it much cleaner. Um, you don't have to. You don't want, if you don't want to, you want to stick it back in. Totally fine. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back and clean out the hood. Then I will give you guys a rundown of what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so I'm having a little issue with the button. Um, once again, I ordered this from Cali Ray's. <clears throat> so when I looked on the website, it says they have two different types, right? This is the OEM. And then they have another one that's also OEM. But then it doesn't fit the 5th gen. But I made sure I got the one that doesn't say it fit the 5th gen. So this one, so it should fit. Um, but I mean... It does and it doesn't so let me tell you guys why real quick so if you guys look here you see how there's some notches these are the oem ones 
how it's locked in place. The notch is right here. So if I don't put it all the way in, it works perfectly fine. Right? But if I push it and it clicks, right? I tend to have some issues. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So that's just, I just gotta fine tune that. Uh, but I was having issues earlier. It's, it seems to be like the bottom side or something like that, but um, that's the only thing if you guys have an issue. So if you do have an issue, just put it out more so it doesn't click, so it doesn't really lock in place. And I guess when you press it, just don't press it too hard. Uh, but other than that, everything else is pretty much good. So once again, this is the issue I'm talking about, where you see how it's fully locked in, right? And then I can't lock the switch. It turns on, but that's it. So I, what I gotta do is either keep pulling this thing out or I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna press this so it doesn't fully lock. I'm just gonna, yes, just like so. If you like the little prongs are not popping out. So that's fine enough. I'll just keep a note to myself. Don't press the button super hard. And if I do, you can always pop up the panel and pull it out. No biggie. But just wanted to show you guys if in case you guys do have issues in phone the button. Um, if you guys don't, cool for you guys. Because I do. <laughs> this is my final run through. Uh, once again, noting that I'm going to put it in with the notch not popping up all the way. Not locking in place. Uh, here's my wire right there. Um, I put a wire loom on it just in case. But this is just me. You don't have to. With some... Um, uh, uh, electrical tape and everything and then what I did was since I had a wire behind everything I zip tied it together uh, you guys can see it from here I zip tied all the wires together uh, with the wire loom right there as you guys can see right there and it goes to the firewall um, so this guy's complete that locks in place and then I hooked up the positive to positive. It's red right there with the wire loom. Made the wire go underneath. Over there. Here's my, here's my negative right here. And here's the relay or the fuse right here. And all the wiring, I just stuck, snuck it beneath, beneath all of this. And then when I got here, I pretty much just zip tied all the bundle together. If you want to, I don't know, cut it, whatever, feel free. I'm not going to do it. Uh, and then just applied everywhere cut them clean yeah that's what it is this is how it looks finished product my fuse is right here i mean not my uh harness is right here once again this is on the passenger side got all my zip ties fed fed it through here through the cowl here's it is zip tied it so this guy is complete as can be. Do this for now. So let's see. Ditch light on. It's on. And that's on. So I got the yellow covers. I didn't want to get the yellow one. Oh, I gotta tighten this up, but it's just covers. You could just pop on and pop off. It's kind of hard to get hand. Show you guys. It's harder than I thought. All right, there it is. All right. So if you want to see what the white one looks like, these are just yellow covers once again. These are pretty damn fucking bright and it's early in the morning. Or not early in the morning, but this is not me right now. Oh, shit. That's bright. Alright, so there it is. And then these just pretty much go back on, like so. Alright, 
Now, it's got to do the final adjustments, and we're good to go.